morning, arachnid people. I hope you're all jolly good. It's a nice sunny day here in the southwest of England. A bit chilly, but it's good, it's doable. As you can see here, I have my cup of coffee and a Jane Asher's kitchen food container. Two of them, and tablespoon measures, apparently. So, yeah, I'm trying to wake up. I've had a nice fry up this morning after a work night for Christmas. It was a Christmas party for my work, so yeah, hence the coffee. And uh, yeah, but blah blah blah. So yes, I have a nice food container here. I've developed this essential Jane Asher's kitchen range so it's easy to make delicious cakes, breads and biscuits every time. Great, but we're not going to be using it for that. And I bet Jane Asher never thought that one of her containers would be housing a spider. And it's a new uh, spider that I've got. And it's not a tarantula. It's um, a spider that comes from China. And it's not one that's actually easy, easily obtainable here from what I understand. So uh, you're in for a bit of a treat. It's quite a nice looking spider. And uh, yeah... So what are we going to do with Jane Asher's kitchen food containers? We're going to burn the F out of them by putting a, a soldering iron through it. So bear with me, I will be back in a minute. Okay, so as you can see, I've put some holes around the side with a soldering iron top and bottom. Now this species of spider is a burrowing spider. Most definitely a burrowing spider. And it's a trapdoor spider. And it is the Chinese hourglass trapdoor spider, of all things. And um, yeah, I came across this one in my local store, which I got in. And uh, I thought, yeah, I'm going to have that one. And it's a Cyclocosmia rickety, so affectionately known as the Oreo butt spider. So uh, yeah, we're going to be rehousing him from this one into this one because I want to fill up the earth a little bit higher. I'm going to keep some of the sphagnum moss in there, put a little uh, uh, water bowl in just in case he does want to take a drink and then uh, go from there. So yeah, I'll get prepared. So I'm going to be filling this one up with some earth. Again, I'm using the Habis spider. This thing, well you can't see it because it's zoomed in too much. But um, I'm going to be filling that up. I've put some holes in the bottom, even though it's a burrowing spider, but it at least helps the air get in as well. So, yeah. It should be interesting trying to move this one. When I was looking at the spider the other day, and it was on the surface, just chilling out. Well, not chilling out, but yeah. It's uh, very bitey-bitey. I know that the trapdoor species, they just uh, kind of go for anything when they're out and about, I think. So, uh yeah, I'm wondering what I'm going to use to move it, although I have had an idea. I'm very handy with the Jane Asher's kitchen range. There came these two scoops, so I might rename them the spider scoops if it works. I'm going to try and scoop the trapdoor spider out and just pop it in here. So we shall see. The Jane Asher kitchen range might become very useful for us arachnid keepers. I will tell you at the end of the video. <laughs> So, let's have a look. Um, I'm going to get some of this sphagnum moss out. As you can see, he has actually made a little hole through the sphagnum moss here. So, I'm, uh, you can see that. Yeah, you can a little bit. But um, So, I'm going to take some of that out and just put a bit in the top anyway. Just a little. And then I'm going to start off a burrow on the side, so hopefully he'll use that. And then I can at least see him instead of having just pet dirt in here. So yeah, now I've got to get the little bugger out, haven't I? So. I'm just making sure that he's not on any of the sphagnum moss I'm bringing out here because he's actually a very tall, or very tall spider, very small spider. 
So, he's not there. Gotta be careful. I think I'm reaching his lair now. Do all the webbing around. But I'm hoping I can give you guys a good view of him because he's a spider that is so strange. Where is he? I'm going to just have a look up here and see where he is. I can't actually see him. Oh. I think we're going to need to do a bit of digging, guys. Because I don't want to drag him out and then find that he's actually in the sphagnum moss that I'm removing. I need to pick it apart here. It's like doing a little operation, isn't it? Ah, yeah, he's in here. So I didn't need a spider scoop, but... He's a bit sleepy, bless him. Probably didn't enjoy being dragged out, but there you go. Let's see if you can see him. Let's see if I can... He's right there. And as you can see, his abdomen is shaped like an hourglass, hence the name. But you can't pick it up on camera. Ah, yeah, you can. There we go. Look at that. That's why they're called an Oreo, but because if you've eaten Oreo cookies, then they have like quite an ornate pattern on them, and hence why they have that nickname. But why they have that abdomen is when they make a burrow, as you can see, he was facing towards the opening, and if any predators go down that burrow, it looks like they've hit the end of the burrow. So the spider remains safe, and um, yeah, the predators can't find the uh, trapdoor spider. So yeah, it's quite amazing how this works, but uh, yeah, absolutely amazing. Let me see if I can... Uh... Oh, he's a bit sleepy, I think, so I'm not going to annoy him too much, but... Um... I'm going to get rid of most of the sphagnum moss anyway, and, um, yeah, try and get him down a little burrow I created. He's very docile at the moment. Come on. I don't want you in all that sphagnum moss. There we go. Oh, yeah, we don't want him climbing up the sides. But isn't that amazing? Now you can see him a bit better. His butt looks like kind of a mushroom with an Oreo stuck on it. I'm going to affectionately call him Mushroom Butt. Yeah. So yeah, but I've never kept a trapdoor spider, and I know they probably won't come out very much, but uh, yeah, I had to have this one. Absolutely amazing. Go yeah, check out that ass. Cool, huh? I'm glad the rehousing went well, actually, because I wasn't know what to ex really know what to expect there. Because, like I say, I don't keep trapdoor spiders, but I, I was pondering over the past couple of weeks whether to get one or not, and, uh, well, with this one falling in my lap, I thought, well, it's fate, why not? So, yeah, that's the Chinese hourglass spider, or trapdoor spider. Brilliant. Anyway, I'm going to be doing a little bit of feeding with my other tarantulas. 
and um, I have to feed the snakes in a bit as well. I have some uh, rats in some hot water ready to go. And um, what else have I got to do? Yeah, just general maintenance. So uh, yeah, I'll film a bit. Back in a mo. Actually, I'm thinking I might try and feed him. Let's see. That would be really oh, yeah, really interesting if we could actually catch him feeding. It's probably not the right time considering I've just rehoused him, but there's no harm in trying, is there? Can you see that? And of course the roach would manage to crawl up the tweezers, wouldn't it? Let's try again. Nope, he's not interested, I don't think. Let's... Let's see. Oh, you can't see. Oh, that made me jump. <laughs> Sorry, I'm shaky. I'm trying to feed him at an angle where you can see him and I can see him. Which isn't working too well. No, the roach is just crawling on the top of him. So it's probably not a good time to feed. But, uh, yeah, these guys... Pretty cool. No, I'm just ag agitating him. Oh, he tried to climb up the wall then. I don't think he's going to be interested in food right now. No, not to worry. I will save this one for another spider that is hungry. Okay. Now this one is my uh, Ceratogyrus darlingi, otherwise known as the Horned Baboon. You've seen him a few times now. I'm just going to pop in a roach for him. There we go. He was hungry. Bless his little cotton socks. Do that one. What's next? We got my Brachypelma albopelosa, who's down here. So, where did I put the roaches? Oh, God damn it, there it is. Right, and feeding time for you. Come on, wake up. Come on. <laughs> He's evidently half asleep. Wondering if he had a Christmas party last night. Let's top up the water while I'm here. I think he wants to stay asleep, so I'm just going to leave this roach in here, like so. Come on, come out. There we go. Oh. Go on. There you go. You sleepy tarantula. <laughs> so sweet. Come on. Good. 
little more. <laughs> no, he's half asleep, bless him. I will just leave the roach in there with him. And then next we have my little brachypalma smithy. who seems to be half asleep as well. I swear when I'm out that they all do something. Like they all have their own little party or something and they're all hung over at the moment. Uh, okay, well... Again, I will just leave the roach in there and let him get it in his own time. This is the Avic Rosh Shani, and uh, I'm looking for my tweezers. There they are. And let's see if you have a roach. I haven't actually managed to catch this one, I think, on video feeding, or maybe once. I normally just leave the roach caught up in some web like this. And the spider gets it later. Nope. Well, that's how it goes. And here we have my grandma stole the polka. See how awake this one is this morning. <laughs> Run straight away. No. That's it, guys. They're all hung over. That's exactly what it is. So, again, I'll just leave the roach in there for him to eat. My other brachypelma albopilosum. <sighs> roach plays dead, spider half asleep again. Not interested. Wonder what's up with them today. Okay, well, jolly good then. That was an awesome feeding video for you guys, wasn't it? Guys, my Cambridge eye is actually out. I was just putting some water in and it thought it was food. So, uh, yeah, you get the privilege of seeing him today. So I'm going to drop a cockroach in there whilst he's uh, out and about. This is so cool. I'm glad he came out. I can't believe how fast these guys have grown because I got them when they were just wee little slings like that and now look at the size of it here. It's awesome. But as the roach isn't moving, it's not really paying much attention. No. Okay. Well, you got to see him anyway, which was cool. I'll move on to the next one. This is where my other Cambridge eye resides. And uh, where did I put that? There we go. I need to fill up the water. But yeah, I rarely see these guys. The other one you saw, he's, he comes out a bit more often than this one. 
but uh, yeah, let's see. Come here, Mr. Roach. It's time for your demise. Let's see. I'm going to put that on some webbing. There. Look at that, awesome! Finally, I got it on film for you. Perfect. Really happy about that. On to the next one. I've got mould growing on the bark, as you can see there for my Avent Benatrix, so I'm going to actually quickly move it into another little tub so I can wash the tub out, this tub out, and uh, use it for something else, I think. <clears throat> the spider itself is actually on the bottom of the bark on the other side from what you can see so I got it oh, I just dumped earth in the water bowl but never mind um, so yeah it's actually on the bottom at this side so I'm going to just try Remove and move over. Oh, let's move that out of the way. Move that here. And the spider is underneath all this. This will probably be the first time you see the Minatrix in a while. Because they're quite shy. Oops! Oh, sh shit. Okay. It's actually hidden under my camera stand now. That probably wasn't the best way to approach it. It's hiding there. You can just see its little leg. <sighs> that was a sh stupid way of using a tarantula, but, um, bugger. <clears throat> I think this catch cup is going to be too small. Not too big, rather. Oh, it might be alright. I don't want to squish. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> so I would like it to run up the bottle. Oh no, it's cool. Go on, up the bottle. Now you can leap down. Sorry guys, this is a bit of a weird angle, but uh, yeah, I did not expect that. on the outside of the bottle. This is going well. No, oh, come on, dude. <laughs> Let's put you back down. Then I'm going to move the phone up so you can see what I'm doing. Now this little Avic is being a pain in the posterior. 
at the moment. But it's all part of the fun, eh? Come on. <laughs> Let's run up inside the bottle again. Come on, jump down. Nope. Looks on the outside of the bottle. Now it's running up the bottle. Oh. Now it's there. I'm going to get a lid ready. It's a cute little Avic though. Such a sweet little thing. Come on, back down. Right. I'm going to put that lid on. We went on an adventure. That was so cool. <laughs> However, I've squished the leaves. I want him to create a little home in leaves that are higher. Oh, and he jumped down. Leaves that are higher up here. That'll do. Right, I'll sort it later. Zoom in on him. You can see him then. You won't see him much. He likes to hide, but um, I don't want him in with the mouldy bit of wood. So, there we go. He can uh, live in there from now on. I'll feed him later. Now I'm going to feed the assassin bugs. What's that? No idea. I don't think there's any other. Sorry, I'm just talking to myself. goes for it. He's certainly interested. There we go. Okay, on to the next one. The next to Sassenberg. I think he's probably due to molt soon because he's the smallest of the three I've got. So it wouldn't surprise me if he doesn't eat today. He didn't eat the last time I tried to feed him, so we shall see. No. I'll leave it in there, see how we get some. Here's the next one. Well, he certainly liked that roach. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to be feeding. 
my baby corn snake now. Some fresh paper towel as well wouldn't go and miss there. So, start. God, I am so tired. Completely dopey. Oh, what getting old and going out does to you. feed a pinky to this snake. This is the only baby. So you can probably see the shadow there of it moving around. <laughs> oh, it's on the bottom. Sometimes I just have to leave the food for her or him. Hello. <laughs> gone into my hand here. I'm going to turn it the other way, sweetheart. Sorry guys, I have no idea what's wrong with my phone, but it just won't focus properly. I think I'm going to need to invest in a new one. If there's anyone that wants to buy me a camera, or a video camera, to record their stuff on, like, products, you know. <laughs> I've got to wait for him to finish eating and then I'll put some more um, paper towel in there. And then let him get back to sleeping. As you know, my phone cuts out after half an hour of recording, so little corn snake has just finished his meal. And I'm just going to pop this back on top very gently. Oh, I need 
just decided to crawl where I wanted to put the water dish. And there's a little burn. There we go. <laughs> He's down here now. Where did you go? There he is. <laughs> So I'll let him get on with the day. Now I'm going to be feeding the ball pythons. And Monty's normally pretty good. Nim, she's angry. So uh, yeah, I'll get my rats prepared. And then uh, as you can see, they're in there having a bath. Looks like they're in sensory deprivation there. And uh, I'll be back in a sec. Right, time to feed Monty. Let's see how we get on. Peekaboo. I'm wondering, does he have his eye on me or on the rat? Hopefully on the rat. Go on, boy. No, you donut. Okay, he's got himself stuck on the newspaper. Uh, no. Long tweezers. Oh, boy. <laughs> I was trying to help you, you Wally. You're the one that bit the paper towel. Not me. Now eat your rat. Eat your rat. Don't look at me. Don't give me the evil eye. I don't put up with those shenanigans, you know that. Eat the rat. It's in front of you. Go on. Are you going to give me a staring contest? Because I will outstare you, snake. I will outstare you. Yeah, you can poke your tongue out at me. Mm, I can do the same. Now go on. Eat your rat. Eat your rat. It's right in front of you. Go on. See, he's looking at me, completely ignoring the rat and looking at me. It's as though I've done him a severe injustice in the world by helping him remove his tooth from the paper towel, because he was a donut and bit it. <sighs> I'm going to leave him be because he's looking at me not wanting to eat the rat. 
he's more focused on me and I want him to obviously eat the rat so see what I mean so I'll let him chill out I'll go over to Nim and now we have Nim who is already very much aware that something is going on and it's more than likely feeding time Come here, rat. I do love rats. I hate that they have to be used for food. I've kept them as pets before, but um, yeah. Oh, here we go. Well, she bit the tail of the rat. Nim, that is the worst I've ever seen you go for a rat. You normally try and rip its head off, but you got the tail, you stupid snake. Honestly. She's trying to constrict its tail. Both of them have gone herpaderp today. <laughs> Honestly. Monty's still over there trying to suss out whether the rat is a rat. And we've got Nim trying to constrict a rat's tail. Because, yeah, that's really going to kill it if it was still alive. Honestly. Yeah, I'm going to let them be. They're obviously in stupid mode today. Seriously, are you seeing this? My ball python is starting at the tail first. I have not seen this before. I like the I'm gonna eat the tail first. The <laughs> she will eventually work out, I guess, that that is probably not the best way to eat a rat. Monty has found his rat. <laughs> My animals are stupid. So, coming back to this trapdoor spider, I can safely recommend Jane Ash's kitchen containers for holding tarantulas and various other spiders. They're actually kind of cool. So thank you, Jane Asher, for creating these. Um, yeah, brilliant. Anyway, guys, I'm uh, going to clear off now. Hope you've enjoyed. It was a bit of a slow day with the tarantulas feeding, I'm afraid. But uh, at least you get to see this cool guy. Let me see if I can zoom in on his uh, abdomen. But it's not going to, is it? Oh, wow, there you go. Cool, huh? Oh well, I'll catch you later. Bye.